Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do, we're gonna start the uh, the go on side quest here in this episode. And uh, one thing I might, as well, I might as well go ahead and say, um, you don't actually need the broken giant's knife to get it. Um, that was a mistake on my part. Sorry. Uh, instead, we're gonna be doing a pretty lengthy side quest that'll get us the broken sword that we need to fix, and then do some other stuff. So yeah. Um, so the first area we need to go into is, go, is uh, Kirko Village. That's where we, we'll start this next mess. And um, well, uh, we need to talk to the uh, crazy Kuka lady that we. Helped get cuckoos for that gave us a bottle. Not oddly enough, it's raining right now. Hmm. Huh, interesting. Um, so basically, uh, just talk to her. I bought a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get those. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy late rises out of bed. How did you hurt? Heard of them before? Yeah, they're pretty much chicken. Makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check it out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Not uh, sure. We got a cuckoo egg! Which is still not a Pokemon egg! Very good, back when you're done with it. Okay, so there's, uh. Two ways you can hatch this egg. You can either wait the long way, or you can play the, uh, Sun Song a little bit. And actually, I'm gonna go into, uh, buildings so I don't spawn that far away. Um, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and talk to this new guy who we freed from the curse. And he'll give us. The Rumble Pack, I mean the Stone of Agony! Yeah, if you call the Rumble Pack, it will react to the nearby secrets. Basically, basically, there's a secret hole or something, it will rumble. But since the Wii version and the emulators don't have Rumble Packs, uh, yeah, you can't really do that. I think they do something different in the Wii version, like it makes a noise or something, makes a sound. Um, I don't know what it does in the 3DS version. Um, but yeah. It, I'm sure it does something, or they just omit it completely. <coughs> but yeah, after a full after a full night of waiting, the egg, the pocket egg, cuckoo changes into, the pocket egg turns into a pocket cuckoo. Yay! Um, the next thing we need to do here, before we give it back to the crazy cuckoo lady, <laughs> yes, I'm not getting tired of calling her that. It's like the crazy cat lady. Um, if we... Oh, it's in this building. No? Okay, I was, in, I was wrong. Um, there's one area we want to go into, and there's one building we want to go into. Let me see here. I'm pretty sure. I think it was this one over here. I'm getting mixed up. I'm getting my places mixed up now. Um, no, yeah, I guess nothing, like, that's new. Um, this is, wait, I think I, yep, there it is. Oh, look, it's Talon, Malin's father. What's he doing sleeping again? Malin's doing all right, mumble, mumble. Sorry to make you worry. Ah, well, I guess we get to wake him up again. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shot out around here? And speak. Did you save Malin? Thanks. I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeah! Um, I think that's all he does, okay? Yeah. And yeah, we saved Malin. <laughs> just that, just that helps me out. Um, so all we need to do is we need to go, we just need to go back and uh, talk to the crazy cuckoo lady. Um, I'm not sure what her name is in this game, but I know in, uh, I believe in, uh, Believe in uh, Majora's Mask, we finally give her name of An the name of Andrew, though I think technically that's an alternate reality version of her. Yeah. Oh, your Kiko looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. 
Wow, what did I tell you about my own father? You're a good Kiko keeper. I'll give you a rare valuable Kiko if you're interested. His name is Kojiro. And it's used to my brother's and it's used to be my brother's Kiko. His body is quite charming. It's so cute. So my brother's gone. It's strange. But Kojiro has stopped curling. Do you want to keep Kojiro? Uh, sure. You return the pocket Kiko and got Kojiro in return. Unlike other Kikos, Kojiro rarely, rarely crows. And he's blue. Okay, so what we need to do next is, uh, it's probably going to take us a while, but we do need to go into, uh, co into, uh, Kiri Forest, more specifically into the Lost Woods. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and, uh, meet you guys back in the Lost Woods. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay, here I am in Lost Woods. I'm going to just go this way. Um... If you listen, you can hear Kojira, Kojira actually start to crow. Um, you actually also hear him start to crow when you're crossing the bridge. Um, basically, we're going to go here, and this is uh, Andrew's, just, uh, Andrew's brother. Um, so you give him Kojira. Kojira? Why? Only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means, you, you must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. My nice Guy, please. Look at this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kokiriko Village. This will disappear if you take it, if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay. And we got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kokiriko Potion Shop quickly. Um, yeah, so here we have three minutes to get to the potion shop. Uh, if you're, if you're wondering what the potion shop is, that's that building that leads right before, that, uh, stands at the entrance of, uh, Death Mountain, the Death Mountain Trail. So yeah, um, I want to cut this part. This is a time spot, and I want to make, I want to prove to you all that I can do it, and more importantly to myself that I can do it. <laughs> um, by the way, this isn't the time mission I was talking about earlier. This, yeah, way, way, way back, way, take the way back machine and look at the, uh, yeah, and look at the. Uh, Pre previous videos I make uh, reference to a to a actually two time commissions. There's actually three. Uh, this is the first of the three, and this is one you can't use warps in. Um, the second one you can. The third one, if you try to use it, if you try to use the warp where you think you could, it totally screws you over. <laughs> um, ah, return, return. Yeah, as you can tell, it doesn't take too long to get over here. It just only takes about a minute or two. Uh, we need to go on. Stop. Stop. Wasting time in front of it. There we go. So glad they fixed the horses in the later games. Oh, game, because they don't have a horse in Wind Waker. Um, so here we enter the cutscene. Great. Um, this is actually cutting to the next, getting us into the next dungeon. Um, I hope it doesn't affect our time. <laughs> this is bad. Um, so yeah, this kind of disrupts the flow. Get back, Link. Probably should have done this, now that I think about it, probably should have done this beforehand. I didn't realize this cutscene trigger. And trigger. Um. Whoa. That's not good. And Shriek Ball's dead. <laughs> and you only had two days left to retirement. <laughs> I'm not gonna ruin that show for everyone. Um. Yeah, as you can see, kind of a malicious spirit came out of that well. Uh, we'll be dealing with that later on. Because... Yeah, that, that was so bad they couldn't even show us. Man, that was, ter that was some ownage. <coughs> again, I hope this doesn't affect our time limit. <laughs> I'll try to do it again. I thought you coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. 
Evil Shadow Spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kikiriko Village, had sealed the evil Shadow Spirit in the tip in the bottom of the well. But the forces of evil spirit, the forces of the evil spirit, have got so strong the seal in the well broke, and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she was in danger without any help. Link, Impa is the one, is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There's an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. Everybody, Stafos. So he's not here anymore. 
Okay, so I guess I'll just show her the... Oh, look, it works. The guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Anybody will become a stop us. Everybody stop us. So he's not here anymore. Only he's... Only a saw is left. <laughs> that medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Uh, sure. And we got the odd po or we gave the odd potion, got the poacher saw. The young punk guy must have left it behind. <laughs> Are you going to be two? <laughs> uh, no we're not, because we're special. <laughs> uh, yeah, no seriously, we're, spe we're the hero of time. <coughs> um, so yeah, what we need to do the poacher saw is we'll be heading to a new area I don't think we've gone into yet. If we have, it was it hasn't been since we were a kid. Um, we'll be heading to there, into there next, so I'll, yeah, I guess uh, I'll end the video off and show them what that is. Um, so basically, go and Pona. Back up. Ah, you can never back up correctly. And we're going to be heading on to the other side of the map, way across the way. Um, come on, you can work. I don't know why they bother putting roots like, like that. It's annoying the hell out of us. Um. Okay. Oh, look, there's a big po. Yay, we're gonna get the big po real quick. Um. Damn it! Ah, well, we didn't have a empty po empty bottle. Oh well, that kind of pissed me off. Um, <laughs> I should know what bottles we have. We have nothing but fairies in them. Um, come on, turn. We gotta turn on the dime on this thing. Um, so now all we have to do is go in here and, uh, we enter. Um, in a few brief minutes. Any minute now. We enter our new area, the, Gru the Gerudo Valley. Yay. Um, so yeah. Um. <coughs> oh, stop, stop, down. Um. So, like I said, before we end the video off, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and make this the last traded video we use. Or traded, traded video, traded item we use in the episode. If we talk to this guy, I'm a master craftsman! Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge! I wanna fix it, but all my workers are gone! They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey you! If you're going to, if you're going to the fortress, do you mind finding out what their what my workers are doing over there? Um, if we show them the item... Hey, that saw! It's mine! I thought I left that saw with my old lady! Oh well. I'm the Goron tool broke, so I was going to the Goron City to get it repaired. You're coming... You're coming here with great timing. Will you trade this all with me? Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry I can't give you something as good as in return, but take this anyway. <coughs> and we got a broken Begoron sword. A broken Goron sword. This is Begoron to get repaired. Yes, this is the item that we need to repair. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and end the video off for now. In the next episode, we'll probably open up at the beginning of uh, Begoron. Uh, uh, the Begoron himself and uh, get the sword fixed. So until then, I will see you guys later. And by the way, this music's freaking awesome.